Okay, assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be multiplying radicals. The second case would be same basis or radicand with different index. So, yung sabihin in this case, parehas ng nasa loob, it would be the same numbers inside but we will have different indices. Okay, index is the number outside or just beside the radical sign. So, let's have an example. Say we have um, the cube root of, uh, the square root of 3 times the cube root of 3. So, you would notice that the numbers inside are the same. But, the index would be the same. This one will have 2, but this one would have 3. So, may square root and then may cube root. So, what do we do in this case? So, what we do in this case is we just simply assume that our um, given is in the form of fractional exponents. Okay, so in this case, this one will be expressed as 3 raised to 1 half. Bakit? Again, this would be the numerator and this would be the denominator. So, 3 raised to 1 half. And then, the other one would be expressed as 3 exponent radicant denominator 3. Okay, so it would be like this. And please do remember that if we are trying to multiply numbers with the same uh, base, I mean, we are trying to multiply terms with the same base but different exponent. This would fall under the um, product rule. Wherein, if you have same bases, you add the exponent. Remember, x raised to n plus x raised to m is equal to x raised to n plus m. A-add natin, we will add the exponent. Adding the exponent will give us 1 half plus 1 third. And if we will try to simplify that, this would be 3 raised to... Um, Cross product tayo, 3, this one, and 2, plus 2, and then direct ni sa baba, 2 times 3 is 6. This will ultimately give us 3 raised to 5 over 6. Or just simply, if we will try to express this one in our um, radical form, kasi yun naman yung aim natin, we will have the 6th root of 3 raised to 5. And then trying to simplify this one further, it will give us, of course, um... 3 raised to 5. What's 3 raised to 5? The 6th root of 3 raised to 5. Let me try to evaluate that in my calculator. Okay, and this would be 243. And that would be your final answer. So, ano po bang ginagawa natin dito? We will just simply add the exponents. If you have converted your given in the fractional or rational exponents. Okay? And lastly, try to simplify, if you could, this, um, this part. Okay? So, let's have another example. Uh, say, I have square root of 2 times the cube root of 2 times the fourth root of 2. So, ano po ba again gagawin natin in these cases? We will again assume the radicals or transform the radicals in its rational form. This would give us 2 raised to 1 half times um, 2, 2 raised to 1 third. And we will have 2 raised to 1 fourth. Again, how, what, how do we do this one? We add the exponents. Okay? We will have 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 fourth. And trying to add this one, uh, let's just try to get the LC, um, LCD. The LCD of 2, 3, and 4 is 4, 8, 12. The answer is 12. So this is 2 over 12. Yan. 2 raised to something over 12. Uh, simplify, um, let's try to ano, um, change now the, our fraction. 12 divided by 2, the answer is 6. 6 times 1, so we have 6. 12 divided by 3 is um, 4. So we'll have 4. And this would be equal to 3. Yan. So we'll have 6, 4, and 3. Am I correct? 6, yes. 4, 8, 12. Okay, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 4. And then 4, 8, 12, 3. Okay. And then just simply add them together. 6, 4, and 12. Um, this would be 13 over 12. And this would give us the 12th root of 2 raised to 13. And then do not find the square the uh, no the 2 raised to 13. Because then again I told you if the exponent is bigger than the index, you can take it out. 13 divided by 12 is equals to 1, remainder 1 will give you 2, 12th root of 2 raised to 1. Quotient, ito yan. 
index, uh, uh, remainder would be yung nasa loob. Okay? So, that would be our answer. Let's have another one. Say we have um, square root of 4 times cube root of 2. Now, in this case, how can we answer this one kaya? I sorry, uh, not, let's not let's not use square root of 4. Let's uh, use square root of 2 times cube root of 4. Yan. Okay, so how do we solve this one? Express your given in fractional exponent. 2 raised to 1 half times, let's take a look at this one. I uh, Let's try to isolate it. We will have here 2 raised to 2, right? Because 2 raised to 2 is 4. This is what you call equivalence again. Kung katumbas mo siya, pwede mo siyang ipalit. So, we will have um, 2 raised to 2 thirds. Bakit? Exponent, right? Ito. Index. Ito. Conversion again. Okay? So, we will have this. So, once we have that, again, the rule would be add, copy the base, and add the exponent. Okay? Adding the exponent will give us um, 3, 2 raised to 3, plus 4 over 6. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this will give, ultimately give me um, 2 raised to 7 over 6, or just simply the 6th root of 2 raised to 7. Again, if the exponent is bigger than the index, take it out. 7 divided by 6, the answer is 1, remainder 1. It will give you 2, the 6th root of 2. Okay? 2, the 6th root of 2. Okay? And that would be... Um, our given, some of our given, and let's maybe let's have something ano, um, a little bit difficult. Say we have our for our last example 2 square root of x cubed times 3 uh, cube root of x raised to 4 times um, 4 fourth root of x raised to 5. Okay, before we actually go into um, uh, what they call this before we actually go into trying to ano, trying to change our given into its rational form let's try some other method okay let's try to take out what we can take out what do I mean by that remember that I told you that if the exponent is bigger than the index you can take something out exponent bigger than the index take something out exponent bigger than the index take something out so, this would be, let's try to isolate this given, 2, yan, cube root of x, this is 3 and 2, 3 divided by 2, is equals to 1, remainder 1, 2x, square root of, hindi ko na isusulat si 2, square root of x, Th quotient, remainder, same base lang dapat, okay, so this is the new one, 1, let's take this, let's isolate this one, cube root, uh, 3 cube root of x raised to 4. 4 divided by 3, the answer is 1 remainder 1. Ang alin? Ito. We will take a look at the, yung number na nasa loob na ginamita natin. So, this would just simply be 3 x raised to 1 quotient cube root of x remainder. Yan. Okay? And this would be the new one and then we will have uh, this one. Yan. Let's isolate also. 4, 4 root of x raised to 5, it would be the same case. It will give us 4x, 4 root of x. Okay? So, ito na mga bago natin. So, they are being, I think they are being multiplied to each other. So, you, we will have our new uh, given as 2x square root of x times 3 cube root of x. Uh, 3x, I mean. 3x cube root of x times 4x, 4th root of x. Now, we have the same case na. Okay? We will remove this one. Kasi multiplication yan, guys. It's under um, commutative property. You can disarrange them. So, we will have 2x times 3x times 4x. And what would be left on the other side would be square root of x times cube root of x times fourth root of x. And what would happen here? Fractional exponent. x raised to one half 
x raised to one third and x raised to one fourth. I think we have a same given like this one in our previous example. Ito. So, ano kaya magiging exponent niya? 12th truth tayo. Okay? So, ito. Same lang. Dapat parehas lang tayo ng sagot. So, we will have 13. Okay? X raised to 13 over 12. Yan. And this can be, um, this one can be multiplied na. 2 times 3 times 4 is, um, 6, I guess. 6 times 4 is 24. So, this would give me, um, 24x cubed. And again, 24x cubed here. And let's try to finalize our given. This would be equals to um, 24x cubed. And the 12th root of x raised to 13. Again, pwede kang maglabas. Ilabas mo. 24x cubed times x. 12th root of x. And finally, giving you 24 x raised to 4. 12th root of x. Okay, wait lang. Let's double check if we have any other uh, mistake here. 3 times... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, this is correct. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. Okay? So, that would be it. It's a little bit complicated. Yes. But if you have a firm grasp of the uh, no, loss of exponent and also multiplication of variables you will be in a good spot in our lesson. Okay? So, that would be all. If you would have any other questions um, regarding our topic, you can view the video again or ask me in our class. Thank you for listening, everyone. And, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.